Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the fixed point representation. In the previous video, I explained about the unsigned fixed point number, how to represent the unsigned fixed point number and how to convert that given unsigned binary fixed point number to the decimal uh, fixed point number. Okay, now let's see the signed fixed point number. I already said signed is nothing but the negative fractional number. So this negative fractional number can be represented in two ways. One is the two's complement and another is the sign and magnitude notation. Sign and magnitude notation. So you can represent the negative values with the two's complement or by using the method of sign and magnitude notation. Okay. So first let me work on the... Uh, the given number is converted. Uh, let me take a simple example to explain this. So they are giving us some re to rep represent minus 7.5 to the base 10. Means they are given a decimal, negative decimal fraction they are given. So using, using 8 bit binary representation binary representation. So they, they asked us we have to convert this the uh, negative the signed fixed point decimal number has to be converted into 8 bit binary representation and they are giving the condition also with four digits four digits as integer and four as a fraction bits so integer bits or combination of the sign bit as well as the remaining uh, the left hand side whatever the dot the left hand side four bits comes under the integer part as well as the sign bit also the most significant bit is a sign bit and after the dot there should be four fraction bits okay now let's convert this so how to convert this equation so what they said do first forget about the set minus let's just take only 7.5 forget about minus so how you're going to convert 7 is the binary equivalent for the 7 we already know 1 1 1 so if you do 7 2 sorry 2 3 are 6 2 ones are 2 so you're getting triple 1 so triple 1 dot so 0.5 means 0.5 into 2 you're getting 1.0 you just take only the fraction part 0 so you're getting only 1 1 you're getting only one one zero you can keep if you want you can keep more number of zeros but for the given decimal fraction this is a binary fraction now now first convert this into eight bit binary present later we will talk about the minus okay first convert this given number into eight bit binary fraction they are mentioned four digits integer part that means zero one 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 you just add zero. So left hand side you can keep any number of zero. The most significant um, MSBs you can keep any number of zeros. And the right hand side also four fraction parts. You can keep three zeros. Because the zero should be here it is repeating. So one zero zero zero. Now is it becomes the eight bit binary representation or right or wrong? So four four. Four plus four eight. So the four uh, the 8 bit binary representation with 4 integer bits and 4 fraction bits. Okay. So this is only for the positive number. Now let's convert the given. Uh, it's a, You have to find out the 2's complement because this is a negative number. Whenever the negative number is there you can follow the sign and magnitude notation or 2's complement notation. So I am requesting you students who always follow the 2's complement. So how to find the 2's complement for the given number. There are two methods for finding the two's complement. One first method is first find out the one's complement, one's complement and add one. One's complement means you are already know the given number negate. You have to take the negate that is one zero 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 dot zero one one. Take the negate and add one. This is one method. And the second method is the second method is. Whenever the sign number is there, so leave the rightmost bits. This is the rightmost, right? Right hand side. This is the rightmost bit. Leave the rightmost to zeros. Whatever the rightmost zeros are there, just leave it up to 1. Including 1 also. Including 1 also. So leave these bits. You just don't change these bits. So the rightmost zeros. So wherever the 1 is there, including that 1. So you just stop here. 
Okay, you don't change these beads. Leave this place and rest of the beads should be complemented. That is, you are getting 1, 0, 0, dot, 1, 0, 0. This is what you are getting. Okay, so just only the bits right uh, after the one the first one after the first one you have to be complimented and that bits you have to be uh, just you just keep those bits don't change anything okay so this is the two methods of doing the uh, two's complement either you can follow one's complement plus one you observe here one 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 zero one zero one zero okay so uh, here one you are getting and this is one zero zero anyhow you are getting the same answer one's complement plus one and you are just take the rightmost whatever the first one is there including that one don't change anything and the leftmost bits whatever is there you just interchange that so this is the representation of minus so the minus 7.5 to the base 10 the equivalent number is this two comp two's complement so the two's complement one zero zero dot one zero zero to the base to the base two okay so this is a way you have to be uh, converted the given representation to the uh, signed fixed point number so in the next video i'll take more examples to explain about the signed fixed point representation as well as the unsigned fixed point representation by taking more examples Thank you.